Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to download the ISO file for Windows 10 version 21H2 or November 2021 update. Although the November 2021 update hasn't been officially released, Microsoft has already confirmed that the next feature update has been already finalized and insiders can now download a preview of the final ISO to perform a clean installation or an in-place upgrade on a spare computer. This is not meant to upgrade your primary device, so you've been warned. Okay, so here's how to download the final ISO file of Windows 10 21H2. First, you need to open the Windows Insider Preview download page, and you need to download with a Microsoft account that is associated with your Insider Program account. Once signing on the page, scroll down, and on Select Edition, you need to select the Windows Insider Preview, Release Preview Channel, Build 19044.1288. Then click the Confirm button. Now select the language. In my case, it will be English. And then click the Confirm button. And in here, click the Download button for the platforms that applies for your computer. Most of the time, it will be the 64-bit download. Then save the file to the computer. If you're not sure the architecture of your computer, simply open Start and then go to Settings. And on System, go to the About page. And under Device Specifications, look the system type and that will tell you if it is 32-bit or 64-bit. And that's it. Now the ISO file is going to download on your computer. And this particular download, it's about 5.5 gigs. So the time to download, it will depend on your internet connection. Once the ISO has been downloaded on the computer, you can double click it to mount it and begin the setup through here. You can also use third party tools like Rufus. to create a bootable media. Of course, you will need to connect a USB flash drive in order to create that media. Or you can also use the ISO file to install Windows 10 21H2 on a virtual machine. One more time, I just wanna say that even though this is the final version of Windows 10 21H2, remember that this is still a pre-release, so it is not intended to upgrade your primary machine, only for a testing device. And that is all there is to it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.